Now let me now talk about India I see in 2050 and outline a set of interconnected factors that establishes India's path forward. All of these factors will combine to make the next three decades the most defining period for the impact India will have on the world. The first dimension is our nation's demographic dividend, which will drive consumptions and accelerate the growth of a tax-paying society. India's median age will be just 38 years, even in 2050. Over this period, till 2050, India's populations will grow by 15% to 1.6 billion, but the per capita income will accelerate by over 700% to approximate $16,000. The growth of this consuming middle class will drive an unprecedented surge in demand, which in turn will drive a surge in a private and a government expenditures, as well as attracts the highest level of foreign direct investment. In this ongoing year, India is expected to record a 15% increase and all-time high of over $100 billion of FDI. Such scale of investment lays the foundations for a significant job expansions. In fact, India's FDI inflows have increased over 20-fold since the year 2000 and I would expect it to touch a trillion dollars by 2050. Nothing beats internal demand within a large economy to attract FDI, and there could be no better sign of the increasing global confidence in India. The second dimension is the pace of entrepreneurships that India is witnessing, digitalizations has accelerated this velocity, and a digitally enabled India is transforming every aspect of how India operates, lives, and consumes. In this context, the current world, entrepreneurship and digitalization are strongly linked and combined to create a dynamic, innovative environment. A digitalized India will also transform healthcare, education, and skill development and create a more equitable society. India's space and adoption of digital technologies will create a massive new and innovative market spaces. I fundamentally believe that the next three decades will propel India to the forefront of entrepreneurship. This journey is already well on its way. Allow me to explain. In 2021, the pace of unicorn creation in India has been the fastest in the world. This will continue. And for every unicorn that rises, we will see the birth of dozens of micro unicorns. In 2021, India added a unicorn every nine days. It executed the largest number of real-time financial transactions globally are staggering a 48 billion. This was six times greater than the US, Canada, France, and Germany combined. (laughs) 
all of this has laid a base for the fourth industrial revolutions where humans and machines are all interconnected to be then followed by the AI and web 3.0 revolutions where the physical and digital world start fusing. I expect that just like India's internal demand leading to a surge in FDI, the number of startups being created will lead to a surge in venture capital investments. We see funding in India first cross $1 billion in 2015. This year, VC funding will exceed $50 billion and this is just 50x acceleration in just eight years. India stand as the foremost example of how a smartphone and an inexpensive data powered by aspirations can create the jobs and transforms a nation. The third dimension that will prove to be a powerful transformation lever for India is in the space of our energy transitions. Energy poverty is today developing world's greatest challenge and this gap will need to be mostly filled with a renewable energy. While India currently ranks third in the renewable energy attractive index and is the world's third largest energy consuming country, there is little doubt that India's energy transitions will be unparalleled as it races to meet is energy needs. By 2050, India will need 400% more units of energy than it currently consumes. While this may seem challenging, the technology advancement that we are seeing is expected to make this possible. Given the dramatic and continued drop in the cost of renewable energy, especially solar power. The marginal cost of green power is headed to zero. The ability of this zero cost electron to economically split a water molecule and create 100% green hydrogen in the future is now certain. The combination of a solar and wind power coupled with the green hydrogen opens up unprecedented possibility for India. I would go as far as to state that the revolution in alternative energy technologies opens up the possibility that by 2050, India can become a net green energy exporter. 